hope you're doing awesome. So the question we are seeing today is difference of two arrays. So we are given these two arrays, suppose it's one, seven, two, three, and we have to subtract one or zero from it, right? So we have to subtract it in a general mathematical form. There can be carries to be borrowed and there can be uh, digits like this one and this one. Uh, so the one's length is actually um, lesser than the second's length. But there is uh, one constraint or one privilege that the first number here that uh, the the subtraction is valid right uh, because here this number will always be greater than the number which is to be subtracted so the answer won't be negative ever that means it is promised that the result will always be positive number right so let's see how we actually proceed to do it so we'll make an array uh, suppose answer is the name of the array which is equivalent to the array of the larger size among these two, right? So one, two, three, four. So let's make an array of four size. Now we'll uh, initialize a variable called carry and a variable called digit, right? We'll initialize carry to be zero and D will always be initialized zero while we, while we uh, jump onto the next digit. Suppose here we are doing the working for these two digits. So now, is three minus zero positive right that three is is three manageable is zero manageable by three that means is can zero be subtracted from three if the answer is yes what we do is we uh, subtract zero from three the answer is three and we add carry to it carry at this moment is zero so the answer is still three and we dump three at this index at the last index of the answer array let's name it answer now we move on to the next index. Suppose we are here now. Is a uh, four manageable by two? No, it's not, right? So what we'll do is we'll take carry of one. Sorry, uh, we'll take borrow of one. Actually, we call it borrow, right? That's the correct terminology. Now this two becomes twelve, right? That's we. That's how we actually subtract the numbers, right? Now this uh, two actually becomes twelve now, and four is certainly manageable by twelve. So the answer becomes eight but the carry is updated to be minus one because for the next number it has to be minus one right when we take one borrow from seven it actually becomes six now we'll move on here and we'll see is uh, one manageable by six yes it's manageable manageable by six so we'll dump five here and the carry becomes zero because one has already been subtracted from here right now as we have exhausted this array right so we'll we'll see that if um, the the index is not at a valid position, we'll assume that uh, zero is being placed here, right? So one minus zero is one. So, um, okay, so that should be the answer, I hope. One, seven, two, three, minus 140, yeah. 1583 should be the answer. Now let's try to code it. And also, if you haven't uh, seen the addition of two arrays, the video of that question, I highly recommend you to see that because uh, I have explained it more insightfully in that question. Still, you'll be able to uh, get this video, but it will be helpful if you do, right? So let's see. Firstly, uh, we take input of N1. So we make an object of the scanner class. Scanner is CN is equals to new scanner system dot N. Now, let's see. N1 is equals to SCN dot next int now we declare an array suppose the name of the array is a is equals to new int and the size of this array is n1 now we take input that is n number of elements right we take input for this array so for int i equals to 0 i is less than n1 and i plus plus let me code it in full screen right okay so ARR of I, uh, it should not be ARR, it should be A is equals to SCN dot next int. Okay. Now, as the input for uh, one of the arrays ready, let's do the same for the next array, right? Let's call it N2. Let's call this array to be B. And the size of the second array is n2, so we'll make it n2. Also, while looping, let's make it n2, and it becomes b of i, right? So now we have uh, two of our arrays ready. Now, 
let's declare the answer array and answer is equals to new and what should be size of the answer array is the greater among n1 and n2 so if n1 is greater than n2 then it should be n1 otherwise it should be n2 this is just term ternary operator also let's initialize three pointers and i is equals to n1 minus 1 and um, j is equals to n2 minus 1 n2 minus 1 and also um, k is equals to answer dot size minus 1 because i don't know which one of the n1 and n2 is larger so i'll leave it up to the answer and it should be length not size size is for array list actually right so i have my pointer set now let's run the loop while k is greater than or equal to zero that is k uh, k is at valid index right okay firstly what i do is also i need a variable called carry right is equals to zero initially and d is equals to zero d is the digit which will hold the result after the subtraction and a1 value is equals to i'll show it to you okay so what we do now is if a1 of i let's call it a of i is manageable that is uh, b of i can subtract a of i greater than or equal to zero that means that the result of this uh, b of i minus a of i is positive also we need to add carry for sure right because there can be a carry of minus one uh, previously left so we need to consider it here if this uh, results into something greater than zero then we update our d somehow else we do something else now uh, let's see what do we do int d is set to uh, d is set to b of i minus and it should not be b of i it's uh, actually b of j right because j pointer is for b so b of j minus a of i plus c okay. and also c becomes zero but if the result has been positive so there is no need for uh, c to be minus one so c is set to zero else what uh, what d is set to is b of j minus a of i but as the uh, as the result is um, is turning out to be negative we add 10 that is actually from the borrow right so we add 10 here also we add the carry if there was any previous one also what do we do is we set carry to be minus one because we have taken a borrow right this plus 10 so the carry is set to be minus one after this what do i do is i dump this d into answer answer of k is actually set to d now and i gets decremented j gets decremented and k gets decremented. okay but there is a problem with this let's see what's the problem is suppose my input was this thousand minus one what happens is that well while i start traversing from this my a will exa get exhausted very quick right only one number is present here what about these positions so i need to check that if a is uh, sorry i is at valid position so what i do is i create a variable not here and a value is equals to if i is greater than or equal to zero let's not uh, write in this way let's use ternary operator if i is greater than equal to zero then it's a of i otherwise it's zero and instead of ai now it's uh use a b that is a value and have you used it somewhere else yes we have okay so i think it's correct now after the working is done we need to print the array so i'll take an index id x there can be some leading zeros right there can be some okay let me show you suppose it's um thousand 
minus 999. The resultant of it will be 0, 0, 0, 001. And we only need to print this one. So we'll take a loop which will skip the zeros, right? IDX is initially set to zero. Let me take up some space here. Yeah, IDX is initially set to zero now. While IDX is less than answer dot length and I answer of IDX is equal equal to zero. I do IDX plus plus. Now, after this loop gets exhausted, my IDX will be set to a position which is non zero. So I'll uh, start one more loop while IDX is less than answer dot length. I print out system dot out dot print events answer of IDX plus plus because it has to be incre uh, increased after the working is done, right? Let's try to run it and of course solve the error, which inevitably will be there. Oh man, that's nice. Okay, so it's getting accepted. Let's try to submit it now. Okay, so it was an easy question if you have watched the video of the addition question, right? And if not, you must be able to get it. If not at once, then maybe you can rewind the video again. If you like this explanation, kindly hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.